what is big and what is small, hallelujah. So, hey, praise the Lord. Of which really we shouldn't be doing that. Because, I mean, if you ca can, you make it, can you make yourself breathe, hallelujah. So if you can't make yourself breathe, that's a big deal, hallelujah. Can you make yourself wake up in the morning, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you can't, that's a big deal, hallelujah. Amen. So there is more where that came from. Whatever you consider little and whatever you consider big and great, there is more where that came from, hallelujah. Amen. So as we come up here and we t thank God and we testify uh, for what God has done, hallelujah, he, he shall give us more to test him. Hallelujah. He says he gave, the, he gave the seed to the oh. and bread to the. So if you're an eater, God is just going to give you to eat. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But if you're a sower, hallelujah, God is also going to give you. So it depends on who you are. Are you an eater? Are you a sower? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Do we know those who sow? <laughs> Praise the Lord. He says we shall reap what you want. <laughs> you shall reap what you want. <laughs> so if God, you know, praise the Lord, if he give, so I said if you're an eater, God will give you according to, you know, God will give you according to what you are. You are a sower. There's a scripture that says cast your uh, bread upon the waters and you shall find it after many days, praise the Lord. Amen. So he says he give bread to the, <laughs> have you thought about this scripture? It says he give bread to, so if you're an eater, Hey, the loaves are coming your way. <laughs> but if you are a sower, the seed is coming for you to what? Amen. Hallelujah. And we shall see the fruit or the harvest of what you are sowing, what you are sowing, praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank God that, um, you know, mothers are sowing the word of God, yeah. the children, Amen. train up a child in the way that she should grow, so, th so that when they grow, they what? Mm -hmm. Even if they turn... Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've had so many testimonies of our mothers who prayed, who prayed for their children. They went wayward and they continued praying. Sometimes we give up and say, God, you know what? Sometimes we even cast these children. You're going to hell. But uh, there are mothers who continue to pray and they prayed and they prayed. And, uh, and some of them actually were even testifying that they could sense the prayers of the mothers while they were in the midst of uh, like the occult situations or even in the midst of uh, the club and they will sense the prayers of, God, of their mother praying. And so mothers, keep praying, praise the Lord. May God give you grace, more grace. I know you were here yesterday crying for your children and other people's children. Praise the Lord. May God con continue to give you grace so that you continue to cry. Hallelujah. There's a scripture that says, hold not. He says, don't hold back. He says, he says, wail out aloud. Hallelujah. He says, many are the children of the what? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've got Bible scholars in the house. So today we're going to talk about, um, hallelujah. Um, today uh, as we were worshiping, uh, hallelujah, God dropped uh, a word in my spirit as we were worshiping. And uh, it was like a question, like, where is your roots? Hallelujah. Where is your roots? Hallelujah. Because wh wherever your root is, you are going to, get nourishment from where the root is. Are we together this morning? Where is your root? Hallelujah. Let me just start by saying this. Sometimes, sometimes we are rooted in the wrong things. Hallelujah. So as a result of that, or whatever it is we are rooted in, hallelujah, we shall see the fruit of whatever you are rooted in. We all know a tree, right? We all seen trees. Hallelujah. And uh, I happened to hear somebody talk about it, uh, tree, uh, trees uh, recently at some point. But uh, we don't really think about this. So this person said a, a tree, he said he talked about a tree being a, 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 a maybe one of the things or the only thing that grows in two dimensions or tr in two directions. The tree goes down and the tree grows up. So down in the roots. And this also says, you know, like when you pull the tree, you find that it looks exactly almost the same as the, you know, the, the, the top of the part we see. So the root system, which we don't see, has to dig deep. And, and as a matter of fact, the root system is underground. It's dark and damp. It's dark in there. So we just see the top part of the tree, which is beautiful. Sometimes we look at these trees in the, in the fall, beautiful trees, beautiful colors, right? But uh, the beauty that you see on the top of, uh, and, and let me say this also, the, so the trees are being pulled down, they grow deep into the, into the ground. 
and the upper part is attracted by light. Yeah, photo, whatever, whatever. Yes, so you know, so it's beautiful. We see all these beautiful leaves and fruit, as a matter of fact, beautiful fruit, we, you know. So, but the work is done in the roots, in the underground. Yeah? The work, all the work is done in the ground. Because even if the tree, you can provide the tree which is much light as you have, but if the root system is not well established, that tree is just going to be there for a display. It might even eventually die. Are we together this morning? So the question was, where are you rooted? Hallelujah. Where are we rooted this morning? Because wherever we are rooted, we shall see the fruit of where we are rooted. The fruit, some people are rooted in bitterness. I'm not saying there's anybody in here. The scripture talk about being rooted in, in bitterness. Let us look in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse number 18. Deuteronomy chapter 29, 18 talks about uh, a tree. Let us start from there. So where are we rooted? So the mission, my mission today, my mission today is to do a spiritual transplant. Praise the Lord. Today we're going to do a spiritual transplant. If we're not rooted in Christ, today we're going to make that transplant so that we're all rooted in Christ. It is the year of growth. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot grow spiritually if you're not rooted in Christ. Amen. Are we together? Amen. You cannot grow spiritually. If we, are, if we are not rooted in Christ, we cannot grow spiritually. You see, the Bible says, that which is of the flesh is flesh. And that which is of the flesh dies with the flesh. But that which is of the spirit is life. Hallelujah. Amen. That which is of, So if we are rooted in the flesh, we are going to die with the flesh. If we are rooted in the spirit, in Christ Jesus, we are going to live. Hallelujah. Amen. So where are we rooted this morning? I pray that we are all rooted in Christ. If we are not rooted, we shall see the, the word is going to examine us this morning. Hallelujah. I'm not here to examine anybody. I'm not here to point anybody that you are rooted in bitterness or you're rooted in, 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 in uh, whatever it is. My business this morning is to, if we are not rooted in Christ, is to do the transplant by the grace of God. Hallelujah. May God give me grace this morning to, uh, to, to accomplish this transplant this, this morning. Hallelujah. So the Deuteronomy chapter, what does it say? It says, beware lest there be, sh there should be among you a man or woman or family or tribe whose mind and heart turns away this day from the Lord our God to go and save the gods of these nations, lest there should be among you a poisonous root that bears go and wormwood. Another version, New King James Version, Brother, Brother, uh, New King, Brother Kisto. Oh, you got a New King James Version? What does it say? Does it say bitterness, root of bitterness? Yep. So that there may not be among you any man or woman, family or tribe whose heart turns away today mm. from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of these nations, mm. and that there may not be a, among you a root bearing bitterness or wormwood. Praise the Lord. So, so what? So whatever fruit, whatever fruit we see on a tree, the root has got something to do with that. Are we together this morning? Yes. Whatever fruit we see, how beautiful, how ugly, how shriveled. How, whatever it is, the root has got something to do with it. So if, a, if, a, if you seen those trees that are, uh, 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 you see the scripture in Psalm 1, we're going to open Psalm 1, let us go to Psalm 1, right? Let us open Psalm 1. So I, I have been working in, in, in a Lawrence uh, lately. So we, we're right next to Merrimack River. Yeah. Merrimack River is like right there. So sometimes we see the river flowing and you see like this frost, frothy white stuff just floating, just going down the, um, the you know, the, the river. And uh, my friend and I were asking ourselves, like, what could, what could have somebody probably, you know, dump something in the water for the water to be, you know, looking the way it's looking. Some, some days it's, you don't see all this frothy stuff. You just see, like, normal, regular water just flowing by. So um, I was also, uh, uh, I watched a documentary of um, some of these uh, companies that manufactures, manufacturing companies. So, so what they what they used to do, they used to dump chemicals in the in the water, and uh, over time you see that everything in the path of that river just dies, trees, grass, everything just dead. So the word of God is telling us this day. He says, uh, he says, so that the root, Hallelujah, might not be rooted in bitterness, because when the root is rooted in bitterness, the fruits are gonna be bitterness. You see, the Bible says a, a good fruit produces. 
I mean, a good tree produces what? And and the, and the bad tree produces. So, it, it, what makes the tree good? What makes the tree good? Whatever it's planted, right? Whatever it's getting its nourishment. Praise the Lord. Psalm number one: Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous. Ha! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was talking to a sister one time, and I said, "Do you understand what the Word of God says?" Because we look at the people out in the world and we envy them. Oh, look at so and so's house. It's a humongous mansion, uh, mansion on a hill. We look at all these things and, and, and we look at these people and we envy them. Like, wow, look at this. These people are so blessed. We even use the word, these people are so blessed. Yeah? And, 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 and look, but look at what the word of God is saying this morning. He says, happy. He says, blessed. He says, happy. So this is the breakdown of the word blessed. What does it mean? It means happy, fortunate, prosperous, and what? Who is to be envied? Who is to be envied? Are we together this morning? Who is to be envied? Are we, are we, the, are we to envy the ones who are out there, or are we the ones to be envied? We got it twisted. You see this, right? We look at the people, oh, look at the mansion, that person must be. Wow. But look at the word of God. It says, blessed. It means happy, fortunate, prosperous, enviable. <laughs> They're the ones who are supposed to look at us and say, wow, how did your children turn out to be like this? It's because of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Not us looking and saying, wow, look at them. Huh? Praise the Lord. We envy because we don't know who we are. Because we don't know. <laughs> May God. I says, my mission today is to do the transplant. So let us continue with the word of God. He says, he says, enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans, and their purposes, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather. Number two. But, hallelujah, his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. Now listen. You don't just desire and delight in the law. And put a period there. Just God, I desire, I desire your, I desire your laws and I, I, I uh, <laughs> delight in your law. He says, <laughs> and on his law, right, on his precepts, the instructions that Brother Martin was talking about a few weeks ago, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates. That means ponders and what? Study. Huh. Uh, do we have any study people? What do you call the students? <laughs> do we have any students of the word this morning? Do we have any students in the, in the, in the house? Not, <laughs> now look, you study day <laughs> by day and by night. Huh? It's not a one-time study. Some of you remember uh, me talking about, uh, you know, the certificate of attendance. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That you don't get it. You don't need to study to get the certificate of <laughs> attendance. <laughs> You're just being there. Hallelujah. Even if your mind is not there, just your body, just sitting in the chair at the end of the day, they say congratulations and they sign these certificates. You know, I was, I was amazed. I never had the certificate of attendance when I was back in, in, in my country, in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> But I came to America here, yeah, and uh, we went into a, uh, some, some, some workshop at the, at, the, at, the, uh, at, the, at the work. I was a CNA at the time, so they finished whatever they were doing, and they said, uh, all right, uh, she had a whole bunch of uh, you know, certificates, so I, was, I didn't know what it was. So she's like, all right, so everybody, uh, I'm going to call out names. She's organizing them, you know. I'm going to call out names here, and so you can come and get your certificate of attendance. I says, what? She says, you get a certificate for just attending. <laughs> So he says, uh, the one who gets blessed in this, in this situation is the one who just doesn't attend. <laughs> but he studies by day and by night. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He says he's going to study by day and by night. That person is fortunate, he's blessed, he's prosperous, he's to be envied. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Let's continue. He says, um, and he shall be like a what? Firmly planted and tended by the streams of water 
ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Hallelujah. Amen. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither. And everything he does shall what? Mm, and come to maturity, praise the Lord. So he says, blessed is the man who is rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. The streams of, what did, you, what did he say to the woman in the world? He says, if you, you shall continue coming to this world. But if you ask me, I'll give you, I'll give you living water. Hallelujah. He says, I'll give you living water. There's a scripture in, uh, I think it's Revelation chapter 22, talks about the river that flows from the throne room of God. In Ezekiel chapter 38, I think 38, one of the two, he talks about this river that was flowing from the temple. And he says there was a, so he says wherever this river flowed, there was life. He says on every bank of the river, there were trees, there were fruit trees that were producing multiple fru fruits at a time, every season. Praise the Lord, not just one fruit. Praise the Lord. We are proud when we got one fruit, right? Oh, look at my tree. These trees produce multiple, multiple fruits. So you know what? I was thinking about it, right? And uh, you, know, the, you know the scientists and these people, they've, they've, they've played around with that. You know, they've, they've been playing, because playing, they got it from the word of God. They says, want to see how this, so they graph this, you see these pictures and they own, you see this tree nowadays. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, what do they do? They, in a crossbreed and stuff like that. Grafting. 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 So the word of God, you don't, hallelujah, <laughs> be in Christ, hallelujah. And all these fruits which has come, you don't, there's no grafting needed. You are already grafted in Christ. So it says, blessed is the man who does not sit in the council of the wicked nor do all these things, but it shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. So when you're planted by the rivers of living water, whatever you do, you are alive every season while others are drying up, while others are... You see, the Bible says if you faint in the day of trouble, your faith is weak. There's no day of trouble for you. You're not going to faint in the day of trouble because you are established in the source that never fails. You are established in the source. That, do you know why we sometimes get frustrated at people? Because we are rooted in those people. So when those people fail us, we get frustrated. We get angry. We get bitter. You see that word bitter? Talking about bitter because my root is in somebody. Maybe my root is in my wife. So if my wife fails me, I'm going to, bitterness is going to be coming up. You hear? <laughs> Are we together this morning? I'm speaking in parables, but you understand what I'm saying? Yes. The reason why sometimes we, we get so frustrated because we are, our roots are not in Christ. Hallelujah. So wh wherever the roots are, listen, it's not living water. Maybe there might be a little nourishment. Maybe there might be a little something, and then at some point it's going to dry out. Let me hear people. Michael used to be like this. I don't know what happened to him. Michael used to be nice. Michael, because <laughs> the little niceness that I used to have has dried up. Yeah, <laughs> are we together? Are we? Are we together this afternoon? Amen. I pray that we will be transplanted today. Hallelujah. I don't know. Maybe I'm planted in somebody. Maybe my roots is in my wife or in my brother or in my sister or maybe in some pastor. Hallelujah. So if that pastor fails me, bitterness, anger, frustration, right? I feel let down. He let me down. Blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Lord never fails, hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will always be there, hallelujah. The, always, the Lord, you hear Janelle, she came over here, she says he cares. He always cares, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So he says, blessed is the man who does not, he says, he's planted, he says, uh, he's like a tree that is planted by the river of living water. And this, and this river does not dry up. So as long as the river does not dry up, you're not going to dry up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If your joy is, 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 is planted in Christ Jesus, who is the river that does not dry up, nothing is going to dry up your joy. Amen. There could be drought out there, but as long as you're planted in Christ, you just be looking at to, on your neighbors. Hallelujah. It's, see the, see the word, it says, uh, it says this tree, right? It says the, every side of the, of the tree on the banks, it says there are trees, and these trees are always like in season. Huh? They are always in season. They're producing fruit. These trees are always producing fruit. There is no off season. Yeah? There is no off season. I was wondering about the trees that are a little distant from, from the river. Yeah? I was wondering about these other trees which are a little far, further away from the river. They are just watching. If trees could talk, they are probably watching these trees and says, what did these trees do to be able to do what they are doing? What is it with them? They could be mango trees for all you know. 
One is planted on, the, on that end of the garden in the, in the yard, and the other one is over there. Maybe the one over there is by way, a place where there's, it's always wet and there's always water. And then the one over there is it's rocky and dry. You cannot expect the two trees to produce the same way. Amen. Praise the Lord. Where are we rooted today? Hallelujah. Where are you? Do you come to times when you feel dry? You feel empty? Where are you rooted? Maybe you're just on the surface. Yeah? Because the, the root system has to go deep. There's a scripture. It says, be rooted deep in Christ. Not just on the surface, but real deep in, in, in Christ. Because when you're on the surface, right, you're like the tree, that, the house that they say is the builder built on the sand. Yeah, and the troubles come. Sometimes the troubles are like, you look at it and say, ah. Like, I mean, honestly, if, I, if the saints who, who's gone before us, right, if they were to, to compare what we call trouble and what they went through, they're like, are you? <laughs> like, that's a kindergarten type of trouble. <laughs> Wait until you get to college. And see what is there. <laughs> right? So he says you shall be like a tree that is planted by the water. You are, the, you are planted in this water that doesn't dry up. Where are we planted today? Where is our root system? Is my root system in my wife? In what my wife can do for me? Because if whatever she does for me, she, she'll, one day she'll get tired. She'll get tired one day. Right? And then I'm going to be beat. I'm going to be like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what happened to my wife. You know, I, I, I don't know. She used to be like this and this and that and that. And what if you, hallelujah. But when you're rooted in Christ, hallelujah. I don't need my wife to make me feel good. I don't need my wife to make me feel. I appreciate what she does for me. I'm not saying I don't appreciate her. But my joy is not centered on her. Because one day she'll wake up on the wrong side of the bed and she's not going to make me joyful. <laughs> what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Are we together this afternoon? So where are we rooted? Are we rooted in Christ or are we rooted in our jobs? Are we rooted in our careers? Are we rooted in our businesses? Are we rooted in our... Some of us... <laughs> have you, uh, uh, there's, there's an English word that says it's vicarious. Vicarious, right? So we are, we are living... My children... <laughs> like I wanted to be a doctor, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like pushing my children to be doctors so that... <laughs> Dr. Joao... <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Is that, that's the right, that's the right way, right? Exactly. Yeah. Hallelujah. May God help us this afternoon. So I'm saying, where are we rooted? So as we're worshiping, God just began to ask the question, where is your roots? Where is your roots? Where is your roots? Hallelujah. Because wherever your roots are, you're going to, that's where your nourishment is coming from. So where, are we? where is our roots? Hallelujah. He says, blessed is the man. He says he, he studies the word of God day and night because his roots are established in there. Hallelujah. You want to get all you can get out of that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, from, uh, John chapter 15, he says, I am the, the he says, I am the, 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 uh, the vine and you are the branches. He says, whoever is going to remain in me is going to be fruitful. Because he says, besides, out of yourself, there's no fruit. You can strive and try all you want. There is no fruit that is coming out. Hallelujah. You can pretend. You can come in and go, oh, Brother Mike, he's so loving. Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> maybe I'm doing this because maybe, you know, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe if I show someone some love, maybe they'll show me some love too someday, you know. <laughs> but if I realize, you know what, maybe... You know what I'm talking about? When you're genuine, you're genuine. You can only pretend for so long. Yeah? Hallelujah. But when you are in Christ, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Some are rooted in fear. That is why you see what is happening tomorrow. Some people are anxious already. Listen, if you believe, if there's anybody in here who believe, or even somebody watching on, on social media, if you believe that the world is ending tomorrow, please, I'm going to give you my account details. Send me all of your money. <laughs> Bless the man of God. Send me all of your money and your well your title deeds. <laughs> and everything. Give me your cars. Give me everything. Hallelujah. Because I'll be around preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. Because <laughs> the Bible doesn't tell me the world is ending tomorrow. Hallelujah. Jesus says on that day, no, no one knows the time or the hour. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So if you think, if you believe the world is ending, please see me after the service. <laughs> I could use some money and some <laughs> property, whatever else. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So today, hallelujah. I don't know why, like again, I said, I don't know. I just heard the Spirit of God says, where is your roots? Where is your roots? Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us are offended, easily offended because our roots are not in Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us are easily angered because our roots is not in Christ. Some of us, are, we are bitter because our roots are not in Christ. Hallelujah. Our roots may be on people. Our roots on what maybe people could do for us. Our roots on maybe our hope and our trust. We were so looking up to this person and this person let us down. So now we are bitter. Hallelujah. Because our roots was in this person. Hallelujah. Huh? Have you had parents say you've really let me down? I thought you was going to be a doctor and look at you. <laughs> now you are driving Uber. Like <laughs> I thought you was going to make our name famous. You know, like, hallelujah. So the parent gets bitter over the children because they were, they, were, they were rooted in the child. You know what I'm saying? May we be rooted in Christ today. Yeah. Let us go to Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2, verse uh, 5 and 6. 2, verse 6 to 10. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May the Lord do his transplant today. May he transplant us. May we be rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. May not only just being rooted, but deeply rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because he's the, he's the fountain of living water. The ever-flowing living water. The fountain that never dry. Hallelujah. Never runs dry. Hallelujah. So when we're in Christ, we're always in season. Hallelujah. We're always fruitful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I was reading the scripture that says, um, we shall receive power. Acts 1 verse 8. It says, we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Hallelujah. And shall be my witnesses from Judea, Jerusalem, everywhere else until the end of the, wo- end of the world. So I just, I, just, I just got stuck on you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Praise the Lord. And I began to meditate on it. You know, when you receive power from the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, nothing can overpower the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Are we together this afternoon? I began to think about it and say, nothing can overpower the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. So when the day of trouble comes, I'm not going to faint because, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit in me, hallelujah, praise the Lord, empowers me, hallelujah, powered by the Holy Spirit of God, hallelujah. You never faint, he says, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall what? Mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not get weary. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother uh, uh, Andrew was talking about the guy running here. Praise the Lord. He says, when those who wait upon the Lord, they shall run and not get weary. Hallelujah. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. You'll be passing others who'll be fainted along the way and you keep going. Hallelujah. Like energizer bunny. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now that commercial. Praise the Lord. And they'll be like, how does he do this? How is it that when everybody is fainted and they're still standing, hallelujah, because you're rooted in Christ, the river that never runs dry. Praise the Lord. You know what Jesus said? He says, I am the bread of life. Yeah? You remember that? He says, I am the bread of life. He says, whosoever shall eat of this bread shall never be hungry again. Hallelujah. Maybe the reason why we're hungry is we're eating the wrong bread. Hmm? We're eating the wrong bread. And even the bread were eaten. Last time we talked about the leaven of the Pharisees. Maybe the bread were eaten, we're eating is, is, is leavened with the leaven of the Pharisees. Praise the Lord. So Colossians, as you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourselves in new name and conformity to him. Yeah? Step by step. Lock step. What does that mean, Brother Scott? Lockstep? Don't you don't know. Anybody heard the word lockstep? Step with yeah, like your, your step is locked. Left, right. Lockstep. So when you, take it, when you move your left, you're moving your left together at the same time. So he says, uh, as you therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, walk lock, lockstep with him. <laughs> Walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourselves in union with and conformity with him. Praise the Lord. Walk, look, that's what I'm just paraphrasing. I'm just putting it in Michael's version. If you have what? Received Christ. Walk, look, step with him. Where he goes, you go. Hallelujah. When he turns, you turn. Hallelujah. When he stop, you stop. Hallelujah. What did, the, what did Jesus say? He says, I do what I see the Father do. I say what I hear the Father say. So if we follow him, who sees what the father is doing, we're walking lockstep with him. The father says, stop, you stop. Hmm? But if you can't see what the father is doing, 
That's why we're all over the place. <laughs> you can't hear what the father is saying. That's why we're saying, <laughs> we're just saying whatever we're saying. And David says, put a guard over my mouth, O oh Lord. Put a guard over my mouth. Have you seen that scripture before? Yeah, David, he prayed. He says, put a guard over my mouth. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine be acceptable unto you. Psalm 19. Praise the Lord. So he says, when you so if you receive Christ as the Lord, he says, do therefore walk lockstep in him. He says, walk, regulate your lives and conduct yourselves in union with and conformity to him. Number seven, have the root of your being, family, family and deeply planted in him. Fixed and founded in him is the foundation. You are firmly and rooted deeply in Christ. Ah, the word deeply planted. It says firmly and deeply planted in him. Being continually built up in him. Hallelujah. So you are, you are, you are, there are two like a metaphors here. Paul is talking about, he's talking about a, he's talking about a tree. He's talking about a plant firmly and deeply planted. And then he goes on to say, he says, founded in him like he's the foundation. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Uh, where are we founded today? Where's our foundation? Huh? He says, founded in him. And this is being continually built up on him. <laughs> it's like a skyscraper, huh? Just continually being built on him. Becoming increasingly more confirmed and established in faith. Hallelujah. Just as you were taught and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. Sister Kate was here, she's talking about thanksgiving, overflowing, because you're rooted in Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why others are complaining of a, ah, praise the Lord, you're just overflowing with thanksgiving. Yeah. I thank God for the troubles I'm facing. I thank God I don't have money. <laughs> I thank God. <laughs> praise the Lord, because you are rooted in Christ. You know Christ is your shepherd. Yeah. Christ is your alpha and omega. Christ is your provider. Praise the Lord. He says, overflowing in what? In it, with thanksgiving. But we find ourselves, we're complaining, we're bitter, we're angry, we're frustrated. Where is our roots? Where is the root system? Maybe the tap root is tapping into poisonous sources. We read the scripture in Deuteronomy talking about poison. Maybe the tap root is tapping into poison. So poison is coming up the tree and it's showing the fruits. You hear people, I don't want to be sorry, and, I don't want to be near so and so. They're always complaining. Always. There's always something wrong. There's always something. If you come across those people, the first thing you meet them, oh man, what a crappy day, man. What a day. <laughs> the sun is shining. It's a crappy day. It's raining. It's a crappy day. It's snowing. It's a crappy day. It's not snowing. It's not raining. The sun is not shining. It's a crappy day. So what day is good? The word of God says this is the day that the Lord has. <laughs> I don't know about your day, but this is the day that the Lord has made. Somebody says, what is good about it? I said, good morning. And they said, what is good about it? <laughs> I, says the, I says, what's good about it? It is the fact that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I refuse to be bitter. I refuse to complain. Because that's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy wants you to complain about everything. Every little thing, you'll be complaining. But the word of God says overflowing. It says abounding and overflowing in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. You're not going to be bitter or frustrated by somebody or by some situation or by, the, by some circumstance because you know what? That situation or that circumstance is not a Jehovah. You see, the Bible says Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Right? If my job is my Jireh, if they don't promote me, I'm going to be frustrated. But if Jesus is my gyra, hallelujah, does, I remember the scripture that says promotion does not come from the east, the west, the south, and the north, but it comes from God. Hallelujah. It was not Joseph promoted when he was in prison. Yeah. Joseph was supposed to be the most bitter person. He, he should have been sitting there like, God, are you serious? All those dreams you showed me, is this what you were showing me? Is this, the, is this what you were showing me, God? I wish you didn't show me at all because this doesn't make sense. Things of God don't make sense, brothers and sisters. 
we are the ones who try to make them make sense, but things of God do not make sense. Praise the Lord. So he says, overflowing, abounding in what? Mm. Number eight. Number eight. So, I see to it that no one carries you off as a spoil or makes yourselves captive by this so-called philosophy. All right, anyway, you can read that, you know. But what we are saying this morning is, where are we rooted? Where are we rooted? Maybe the reason why I'm not fulfilled is because I'm not rooted in Christ. Because if I was, if I was rooted in Christ, I'd be fulfilled in Christ. Praise the Lord. Maybe the reason why I am frustrated because things are not going my way is because I'm not rooted in Christ. Because if he was rooted in Christ Jesus, the Bible says, hallelujah, even in those dry times when it looks dry, hallelujah, there's no reason for you to be dry, hallelujah. Others can be dry, but you, hallelujah, because you are planted by the rivers of living water. He says he shall produce its fruit in every season, hallelujah. So there is no, you see the word says, be, be, be ready in season, out of season. There's no out of season for you. Amen. <laughs> are, we, are, we, are, we, are we together this afternoon? Amen. Be ready in season and out of season. Whatever is out of season, you're still in season. Amen. Yeah? So when Jesus approached the fig tree, it was no time for figs to be producing fruit figs at the time. But Jesus went anywhere and was expecting figs because he's the one who made that tree. <laughs> are we together this afternoon? Jesus is the one who made that tree, so he expected figs any time, not, not in your time. You know how we want to save God in our time? And the time is his. Is it your time? It is time. So the figs, he wanted to bring forth figs in its own time. But who, who owns time? So J Jesus is expecting fruit from all of us. Whatever, some of us, you know, I'm off season. I'm off season. <laughs> Jesus is expecting fruit even in that off season. Because to him there's no off season. He says you shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of living water. You shall be producing fruit every season. So there's no off season. Are we together? So where is our roots? Is our roots in uh, the government? That's why people are angry at the government. Because the government is supposed to do everything for them. Yeah? So they're angry, they're complaining about the government. They're complaining about the sun, it's, in the, it's shining from the wrong, wrong ankle. Or it's shining too much. If we could just turn the sun down a little bit, just a little, just a little dial, just a dial, turn it down a little bit. May God help us this afternoon. Where is our roots? When our roots are in Christ, we're going to be abounding, we're going to be overflowing. With thanksgiving. What does the word say? He says, be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and supplication. And thanksgiving. <laughs> Make your request known. Huh? Be anxious for? Mm. Some things. Things about to happen tomorrow. Nope. The economy. The politics. Some of us were already worried who's going to be president. We look at the two choices and says, oh, man. <laughs> You're talking about the rock and the hard place? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm not talking politics, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Let us be rooted in Christ. Praise the Lord. Whatever else happens, it's got nothing to do with me. Hallelujah. Are we together? Whatever happens, I'm rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. I am rooted in Christ. So whatever is going to happen, Christ is going to deal with that. Praise the Lord, because I'm rooted in him. What does he say in Psalm 91? He says a thousand will fall on the left, ten thousand on the right. But he says none shall come near you. All you just be hiding in there. And you'll be observing. And you'll be like, oh my God, do you see the earthquake that just happened next door? Oh my God, do you see the hurricane? Oh Lord, did you see the fire? Did you see the tornado? And you are just there in Christ. I can pick. This is the way I picture it, right? I'm hiding in Christ. I'm just looking. I'm like, oh my God. Oh boy. Ooh, that blizzard. Oh my God. Ooh. You know, me, I'm safe in Christ. I don't know about you. I picture the word of God like that. <laughs> Psalm 91, right? That's what he says, right? Yes. Am I wrong? No. Mm. 
He says, you, <laughs> you shall just be seeing these things. Yes. 10,000, 1,000 yes. on the left. You'll be like, oh boy. Yes. Hmm. 10,000 over there, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> and you, you're in Christ. You're just you're like, under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. Huh? It's raining next door. <laughs> For you, you're dry over here. You're good. I'm all, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i see the word of god you know i mean i have to make the word of god <laughs> praise the lord yeah so let our root i i pray today that you know if uh you are feeling withered in the spirit praise the lord i pray that today you're transplanted and they're planted on christ there's no withering in christ there's no withering in christ yeah, you're planted in Christ. There's no, it says, they shall not wither. Did you, did you, shall we, please put that number one again. Yeah. We're almost done here. Yeah. Let, me, let me close my, my, my Bible. Hallelujah. We've got a feast on this word here. Psalm number one. And let me tell you, we should know these scriptures. These are the scriptures to know. Huh? These are the scriptures to know that I am planted on the rivers of the living water. I do not wither. Hmm? I do not, he says, its leaf shall not dry. Yes. Evergreen. Mm -hmm. huh? In the summer, it's evergreen. Mm -hmm. In the winter, it's evergreen. Yeah. It, 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 even if the fire comes, it's evergreen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's in this say you go through the flood, you shall not be over flooded. Yeah. And that's it say you, the fire shall what? And, and you know when I read these scriptures, right? The fire shall not, it shall not burn you. Yeah. And I, I, I see immediately the, 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 the four guys, the three guys in the fire. Yeah. Shadrach in the fire. And I said, there is an example right there. He says, the fire shall come, but it shall not what? Yeah. And I see that picture. Shadrach and them. He says, the flood will come and I see them crossing the Red Sea. Yeah. They cross. Do you know he also parted the Jordan? In a similar way. Two times. He did it. So I see these scriptures coming alive. The flood will not flood you. as they walk through on the dry land. Uh, dry land. So he says, Blessed, let's read this again. Blessed to be envied. So don't go envying nobody. <laughs> don't go envying nobody from here. Are we together this morning? Yes. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are supposed to, like, oh, wow. How is it that you're evergreen? When everybody is, everybody is frustrated. Everybody is, uh, I had this, uh, I work in the construction, so we got these uh, trades, other trades. We got electricians, we got plumbers, we got uh, carpenters and framers and all these people. So I was passing by on Friday, and uh, these two guys were talking. So we were passing each other. These guys are electricians. And the guys, why? So the other guy was, uh, these are uh, like all the guys, they're asking. One of them was asking the other one, why do you always have to be negative? Huh? Why do you always have to be negative? Why can't you be positive like Michael? Look, Michael is positive. Look at him. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, I said, what? Says, look at him. He's positive. Look at him. Is he positive? Look at him. <laughs> do, do I look positive? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe the cross of Christ. So ever. <laughs> that's the positive. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I got a cross there. You might know. And I'm just walking around it. People are Mike is positive. Is the cross is Jesus Christ? Is <laughs> the Christ? Is the Christ in me? The hope of glory. So he said, let us read this and we pray, okay? <laughs> he said I was I, I says, so you know I was thinking, because electricians they talk about positive, you know, and negative, right? <laughs> positive, negative charges. So, look, Mike is positive. I says, uh, did I emit some positive? Uh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. So blessed, happy, and fortunate, prosperous, and enviable. enviable. I, love I tell you, when we leave this place here, yeah, if I hear anybody in here say you envy Brad Pitt, uh, uh, come and see me in my office. Let <laughs> <laughs> huh? me show you the word of God. He's supposed to envy you. Huh? <laughs> he says he's the man who walks and lives not in the council of the, and, or follow the advice. Hmm? Because you know what they say? They say, use your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Use your wisdom. 
but your wisdom can be foolish foolishness mm. so he says uh, he says for he says follow the advice their plans and their purposes nor stand submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk nor sit down listen the word of god is not saying now uh, avoid these sinners when you see them come i got none to do this one <laughs> That's how he, he says, who follow their counsel, follow their plans, follow their purposes. He says, no stand submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, no sit down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather, number two. But his delight is in the, and his desire, ha, the two Ds. But his delight and, and desire are in the law of the Lord. Hallelujah. And on the law or the precepts, the instructions and the teachings of God, he habitually, it's a habit. Mm. What is our habit? Do it all the time. You, you, you don't have to think about it. It's, it's routine. You do it. It's automatic. It. It's automatic. Yeah. Hmm. I, saw a, I saw a thing one day on a, it must have been Facebook or something, and somebody said, uh, what, if we, what if we treated our Bibles the way we treat our mobile phones? What if you treat our Bibles the way we treat our mobile phones? Can you imagine even in the, in the toilet? You're there with your Bible. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his people. We spend time in there with our phones, right? Some of, where is dead? I don't know. We got how many? Four bathrooms. Where is dead? They be knocking on the door. Dead are you? I'm on my mobile phone in there. It's been an hour. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Praise the Lord. Can imagine if I, <laughs> yeah? I forgot my phone the other day I was going to work. Where's my phone? <laughs> I turned that I was late for work. I was late for work. But you know what? I don't have a Bible in my car. I don't have a Bible right there on my seat. There's no Bible there. And if I had the Bible, and if I'd forgotten the Bible, I wouldn't have turned, turned around to go home. I, I, yeah, you, you are looking at, me with, looking at me with judgment. Do you have Bibles in your car? Let us go. I'm going to search your cars today from here. I'm going to look in your cars and see if you got Bibles in there. <laughs> but his delight, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If we treated the word of God, can you imagine in the supermarket, huh? looking for mayonnaise? <laughs> and people are like, looking at you like, oh, is, is he okay? Let's try that, right? <laughs> Let's try that this week. <laughs> Let's come with testimonies next Sunday. <laughs> While they're driving, huh? <laughs> ah, that's what we do, huh? On our phone. YouTube the whole day. Huh? Yeah, on YouTube. Uh, so President Trump, the judge said... <laughs> Yeah, you listen to CNN, right? We're driving. CNN is a President Trump, so, and, and President Biden fell when he was coming off the plane. You, okay, man. You to <laughs> Let us stand to our feet. Let us pray. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Where is our roots today? Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, transplant us. Transplant us, Lord. Father, let your way transplant us this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, Father, those who are planted in bitterness. Father, in the name of Jesus, may uproot them, Father. Uproot those who are planted in bitterness, that they may be planted in you, the rivers of living water. Those who are frustrated, Father, transplant them this afternoon by your word in the name of Jesus. Father God, that the Father, that they find fulfillment in you, that they find joy in you, that they find peace in you, Father. Father, your word says those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not, they shall not get tired. Father, in the name of Jesus, there are some who are weary in our midst. Father God, because Lord, their root system is not established in you. There are some, Father, who are about to give up. They are withered, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for withered faith this afternoon to be transplanted, Father, to be planted in the rivers of living water, to be planted on you. Your, your word says if you, if you faint in the day of trouble, your faith is weak. Father, those with weak faith, transplant them, Father, this afternoon. May they be planted in you. 
in the name of in the name of Jesus the, the ever ever flowing the river that is always flowing the river that never runs dry those father God who are angry right now they are angry at a situation or a circumstance there's something that has caused them to be angry father in the name of Jesus transplant them father in the name of Jesus may they be rooted in you your word says overflow it says abounding and overflowing with thanksgiving father in the name of Jesus Lord we pray this afternoon father each and every one of us in here our roots maybe somewhere somehow is tapping into the poisonous water the tap root is tapping further into dirty is into into oh my lord help us this afternoon lord you know you know father you see where our root system is you see where the tap root is tapping right now some of our tap roots are tapping in the lies so everything we do is based on the lies father some of us our tap roots are tapping in fear and therefore everything we do is driven by fear we react we act we behave according to the fear lord this afternoon transplant your people each and every one of us in here father we need some transplanting of some sort in the name of jesus may we be may we be planted in you the word says deeply firmly it says firmly and deeply rooted in christ father this afternoon may we be firmly and deeply rooted in you so that father nothing is going to shake us nothing is going to uh, uh, scare us nothing is going to cause us to be anxious nothing is going to cause us sleepless nights because we're rooted in you the god who never fails the god who is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond our wildest imaginations so father this afternoon in the name of jesus those father god who are rooted in doubt lord uproot the doubt father root them and transplant them father in <music>